stop right there. Okay, good. No signs of overdose. No need for naloxone. Nalo. What? Naloxone. It treats opiate overdoses. Yeah, look on the screen. It displaces the opioids that bind to the opiate receptors in the central nervous system. Weren't you done with using morphine? Wait a minute. Who are you guys? Don't worry about us. Put that down. You've become dependent on opioids. What can I say? A little extra medication never hurt anyone. Wrong. In 2017, 47,000 Americans died from opioid overdoses and 1.7 million were abusing prescribed opioid painkillers. Look here. See, there are two types of agonists for opioid receptors. We have the endogenous type, which are naturally made within your body, and here we have exogenous opioids, which come from nature and are man-made. Both types bind to the receptors, like the kappa opioid receptor, to release pain. Wait, how do they do this? GPCR. Opioid receptors are coupled to G-proteins. When the G-protein is activated, it will undergo a shape change, causing certain activities in the cell to produce an effect. Opioids achieve their effects by preventing neurotransmitter release. After the opioid binds to the receptor, part of the G-protein will bind with the voltage-gated calcium channel. Calcium is important for signaling, aka communication throughout your body. Without calcium entering the neuron, pain signaling cannot reach its action potential and pain relief occurs. Wow, so that's how these pills work. What happens if I continue taking opioids? It will continue engaging with the kappa opioid receptors and can lead to depression since dopamine levels decrease in your body. Don't worry, talking to your doctor can help you face your addiction. There are also medication-assisted treatments that involve the usage of both counseling and medicine therapies. You can get through this. Now drop the medication. Huh? Where did they go?